Kevin asks, I recently started as a contractor with an at-will agreement. What are some of the next steps I can take to become salaried there or find full-time work as a developer? Hey, Kevin. Hey, that's a good question. A lot of times when we're just starting out, um, we feel like contracting is less secure um, than the full-time positions, and that's not entirely true. The company you work with can lay off either one of the full-time employees or the contract employees. Um, they're both at-will agreements. Um, with full-time employees, obviously you get benefits, health care, 401k, those kind of things in most cases. But I wouldn't really stress out whether you're a contractor or a W-2, especially to the point to where you're worried about um, your next contract or your next paycheck. So here's what I would do to look at getting full-time employment with the current company that you're at, or what I call a W-2 employee, is number one, be on time, be committed to your craft, add value to the company. Um, that means that they assign you a task, complete the task, try to hit your deadlines, and then build a rapport or relationship with your immediate um, supervisor, whether it be a tech lead or the owner of the company or whatever it is, and try to show them that you're always wanting to add value. Be proactive in asking for things to do and be a guy that they can count on that you can deliver code. And I think if you're committed to your craft in that way and you're adding value to that company, it will either get you hired at your current position or in your next contract or your next um, FT role, um, that person will have good things to say about you. And as you build your career, you'll eventually get to the FT role that you're looking for. Good luck and keep coding.